All right, I'm gonna see if this works, but I'm gonna record the workout so you guys can follow along. Uh, let me know your feedback, if you can hear me okay, um, if the instructions and everything was explained properly, um, and we'll see where it goes. Uh, so we're gonna start with the warm up. So we're gonna do 20 seal jacks to start. So seal jacks, you're gonna get down into a low squat position, with your arms straight side, and as you jump your legs out, you're gonna also jump your arms out to the side. You want to stay low, your butt back, and your knees and your toes parallel. So forward, low. We're gonna do 20. You don't have to go for speed here. I'd rather your form be proper and get those 20 in at whatever pace you need to. Focus on keeping your glutes and your core tight. And then we're going to do 10 foot squats. So again, keeping that same form, that back, knees, toes, and then you parallel. And then jump back. Down, up one, two, three, four. Grab a sip of water before we start. And we're gonna be starting with hit intervals, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds break. Grab your water. I'm gonna start my timer so you'll be able to follow along with this video when I start. You guys start and when I break, you break with me so you guys can stay on pace. We're gonna go through this four times there is no break in between the sets. It is your 20 seconds. Um, so go hard for those 40 and really take advantage of the 20 seconds that you have for a break. Um, and we'll go through all the exercises four times. So I'm going to start the timer here. And we'll get out. Alright, so we're going to start off with plank jacks. So you're going to start in a high plank or push up position. And you're going to be shooting your legs. Take it down if you don't. Just 
catch your breath and move on to hand work. you just to sling and use bad form. I want you to really focus on your chin bringing you there. A flat back bringing you to your toes. Okay? It's really important you keep your arms and your shoulders straight as you drive towards your toe to really engage your core. Five, four, three, two, one, break. Okay, 20 seconds and we're gonna finish up with the final movement for this exercise, which is your favorite jump squats. 10 more seconds, as many jump squats as you can get in, and then we're gonna go right back into those plank, plank jacks that we started with for 40 seconds. Ready, and go. I want you to keep your form the same way we did when we started. Make sure your knees are not going beyond your toes, your butt is back, your jump is solid, and you're catching yourself when you come back down. If you find this too hard, just do regular squats. No problem. There's no ego. Just do what you can. Get them in. Okay. Final 10. You got this. Push through. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds and we're back to that point. Second round of four. Catch your breath, get a drink of water if you need it. Come back to your mat and onto the floor. We're gonna start in that high plank, push up position, and you're gonna have your feet come in and out on the mat. So start push up, legs go out, legs come in. Build that momentum, keep your butt parallel with your back. Do not raise it up like this. And try and do jacks, keep it straight. Engage your core. Keep your shoulders and your hands parallel with each other. And work at your own pace. It's not a race, it's not a competition. Do what you can. If you find that too much, step out one at a time with your legs. You don't need to do the jump if you get too much. Three, two, one. Break. 20 seconds. Grab some water and meet you back at the mat. 
Our skater jumps. So wherever you were on the skater jumps, whether you were just back and catching, or if you were able to jump, or if that was easy and you wanted to challenge, down and touch. Wherever you were, we're gonna start now. Oh. <laughs> and down. Again, this is too much. You can jump over and catch. Catch it with your other foot. Jump high, catch. Jump high, catch. Jump, hold, jump, hold, jump, hold, jump, hold, four, catch, and hold. Catch. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. And back to toe touches after that. Twenty second break. Take a sip of water because it's hot outside. And we're gonna go back to our mat. Lay on our backs with our feet up. We're about to touch. One and go. Again, really try and push. with some jump squats and get right back into it. Enjoy this 10 seconds. We're gonna earn this break after these jump squats. Again, if the jump squats are too much for you, just go to a regular squat. There's no shame. Do what you need to do, just stay moving. Go. Always check in. Make sure your knees and your toes are parallel. Your butt is back back is straight okay I don't want you to compromise form here for speed 15 more seconds you got this you need to go to straight squats just keep moving two one break you are halfway through the first Okay. Okay, catch your breath. We're going into set number three of four. And that will be some jumps. So back down, not over here. Do that, hit the position, that three more times. Three, You got this. You got this part today, we're doing it. We're just going to play on this video. We're going to play on this video. We're going to play on this video. We're going to play Okay, you got this. You got this together. You're gonna do two. You're gonna feel fit. And you're gonna get your heart rate up and burn some damn calories. We got this. Ten more seconds. Okay. I know it burns. I know you want to give up, but don't. Show yourself you're stronger than that. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Break. Take those 20 seconds. 
get some water, and we're gonna get into those inchworms. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Get your breath here. No need for speed. Make sure as you go down, you're engaging your core. Stronger than your mind. Push through. Final five seconds. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Break. Catch your breath. Bring you back. On your floor. On your mat. Right now for those toe touches. In five more seconds. beyond your toes. I don't want you to compromise your form here. It's not about speed. It's about how well your form is. I'd rather you get five jumps that have good form than 10 jumps that are poor. Final 10 seconds. Regular squats if you need to. No problem. No problem. Three, two, one. Killed it. All right, grab some water. We have one more set here, and that's it. We can move on to the next, okay? Get your breath, because I am currently out of it. All right, back into our link box. Can you push the position? in your butt straight whatever that looks like for you you know keep that form in check 15 seconds you got this last round no more plank jumps after this 10 9 
20 seconds. Back one. If you need water, take it. If you don't, push it. Drop it. Big press up. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. straight if you can, arms straight, chin drive, this movement, really focus on your core, pulling you to your toes, you don't need to touch your toes, just drive up, and wherever you land is okay, halfway there guys, you got it, Driving and put arms. I don't know what feels how cold, but, but it's gonna help you. Strong core, strong body. Three, two, one. Awesome. We're gonna finish this off with your favorite jump squats. And then we're done with those. We're done with this whole set. You have 10 more seconds to rest, 40 more seconds of work, and that's it for this, okay? You made it this far, you can finish with these squats. I know you can. Push to try and do half jumping if you can. Feel that burn, get that heart rate up, keep that form, whatever that looks like for you. If you can't, no shame. I'm okay with you just doing regular squats, no problem. Halfway, and then you're done. Push through, you are stronger than your thoughts. Whatever your mind is trying to tell you. 10 more seconds. Push through. I know it burns. I know it sucks. But you are strong. You are worthy. And you are done. Good work. Take two minutes. Catch your breath. Get some water. We're going to go into the next set. While you're resting, I'm going to run you through the exercises we're going to do next. It's going to be 12 minutes on no break as fast as you can get through these movements in a number that i'm going to provide you for these 12 minutes your goal is to get three to four sets through i want you to try and push through follow along with me keep pace grab water where you need to there's no shame in rest or breaks through this everyone is at different levels and there's no no shame in grabbing water and taking that breather where you need it. I just want you to know I'm here. I'm gonna follow along through what you need to accomplish and you can go at your own rate. The 12 minutes I'm gonna have on the timer will be what you can follow along with here when I say go. 
I'm gonna follow through the exercises we're gonna do. So the first one is 20 ski hops total. So ski hops, you want to have your feet parallel, facing the opposite way that you were standing. You're going to to the left, you feet are going to face towards the right. Come down, and half squat, and arms down. You're going to jump up and rotate to the left. Your feet are going to like to the left, your butt's going to face the right. And you can use your hands as that momentum to a little bit. Really focus on your knees and your feet in the exact same position. And you're just gonna rotate in that spot, left and right, 20 times total. So 10 left, 10 right. Then you're gonna do 50 skipping hops. So what I do is I alternate my feet and I pretend I have a skipping rope because I don't. And that's okay if you don't either. All you're gonna do is one foot at a time, raise them up and swing your, your hands as if you're skipping a skipping rope 50 times. So every time your one leg lifts is one. So 25 per leg. Keep those arms to your side. Only your elbow to forearm are out. You really want to focus on as if you are moving a rope as you lift your legs up. You're gonna do that 50 times. Then you're gonna do 10 push-ups. So 10 push-ups down. We all know what push-ups are, but I will show you. If you can, a full push-up. If you can, modify this person on your knees. Grab water, grab it. If not, transition right into those 
20 ski hops. You got this, five more. Two, one. And you're skipping. Final set, you got this. Ski hops, 20. Two skipping hops, 50 of them, 25 per leg. You got this. time if you're still following along to do another set let's get after it 20 ski hops you got this final one
17, 18, 19, 20, Ooh. 50 skips. my timer. I'm going to grab a quick drink and we're going to shuffle back in. Stay wherever you are. Follow through that drill. We're just going to follow it through to the end of that 12 minutes total. You've got two left. Two more minutes. Push through wherever you are. Give me those 20 ski hops, 50 skips, 10 push-ups, 20 high planks, and 10 sit-ups. Let's get it. some water. Catch your breath. You deserve this break. We're going to finish off with some abs. So follow along. It's quick and easy. Nothing too complicated. Two sets, three movements, and a plank drill. <laughs> so let's start off with those three movements, two sets, and we'll finish off with that plank. All right, grab some more water, catch your breath, and follow me on the floor. We're gonna start with 20 V crunches. So we can start basic arms by your back, keeping your support. 
for your work, likes, and these content for the chin. Extend your legs out, that comes out, and then out, and out, and out. If you find this is too easy and you want to do the challenge, arms come up above your head, out, and out, and focus on that core, driving your knees towards the chin. Next movement is heel touches. Come into that bottom sit up position. Hug your heels out wider than your hips. You're going to raise up your shoulders and your neck. Your arms are going to come up parallel with the heels. Stand with your left and reach out almost towards your heel or to your toe. And then all the way over to your other side. And cross back and forth. Each side, keeping your hands low. Rubbing against that sole of your shoe, left and right, driving those obliques to cause this movement in your core. Okay, 20 of those, and then 20 butterfly sit-ups. So my feet, my soles of my feet are together on my mat. The farther out is easier. The more in towards you go, the harder. Okay, all the way back, keep your soles of your feet together. You're gonna use the movement of your hands to drive yourself up, okay? So swing those arms up, touch your toe. Hands come back, drive up. Feel that core and your arms, create that movement. And find where your feet need to be for that right amount of challenge and engagement. Again, 20 times, okay? So let's get started. 20 B crunches. Maybe down at the mat, get your last sip of water, and let's go. Whether your V-crunches have your arms out for support or above your head for that challenge, I don't care where they are. Let's just keep your legs off the mat, your knees driving out and in, and get that core engaged. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Immediately come into your heel touches. Feet wider than your hips. Shoulders up, neck up, arms touching the soles of your feet. Slide to the left and right. As far as you can go, 20 times. Halfway. Butterfly sit ups. Soles of your feet touching each other wherever they need to be on that mat. Whatever makes it engaging and challenging for you is where they need to be. There's no comparisons, there's no right spot. Exactly where you need to be is where you can be. As long as you get 20 in, engage that core. Rise forward, keep by your knees. Halfway there. Ten more. You got this. Only one more set. No break, we're going right back into it. Get those 20 feet on just last one of the night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Awesome. 
finish it off with your butterfly setups. Last 20. And you're done with these exercises. Exercise tonight is a hi Matt, thanks for joining. <laughs> is a five minute plank drill. So we're gonna spend five minutes starting on a forward plank, a side plank on both sides, left and right, 30 seconds at a time until five minutes has elapsed. Grab some water, we're gonna I, I know, it's exciting. You wanna do a plank? What do you think? So I'm gonna start the, the timer here. I'm gonna start on a front plank. So you're gonna come to your mat. Forearms are down, feet are down, back is flat, core is engaged. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds and then we're gonna rotate over to our right side for 30 seconds then our left side for 30 seconds and rotate through from side to side until five minutes is done. Okay, and then rotate over to your side. If you find this is too hard, you can drop down your knee and raise like that. If that's too hard, I try and encourage you guys to keep your legs all the way up for that extra challenge, that extra burn in your side. Feel that for five more seconds. We're gonna rotate over to the other side for the other side plank and switch. Again, if you need to go to your knees, no problem. Just keep your heart rate up. Get some kind of movement here. Raise your arm up for that extra support and really focus on raising that hip up side there. Final 10 seconds. We're going to rotate back to that front plank we started with for another 30 seconds. And rotate back to your front. Forearms straight. Back is flat. Core is engaged. You're not raising your butt up. You're not letting it sink down. It's straight. Okay. Really think about sinking that belly button into your spine. Ten more seconds. We're gonna rotate to that side again. And then rotate. After this side, we are officially halfway through. Fifteen more seconds. You got this. Only got two and a half more minutes with me. You can push through. Five, four, three, two, one, other side. Let's go. Final 20 seconds. You got this. Go to your knees if you need to. Push through if you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, rotate back, front knee, 30 seconds, we got this, final knee, and out. 
flat back, focus on that belly button, squeezing in, picture it pushing into your back of your spine. Final 10 seconds. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Onto your side. Last time you gotta be here. You got this. Push through. 30 more seconds. Fifteen more seconds. You got this. Last time on this side. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rotate. Last time on this side. You got it. Final 30 seconds. If you've made it this far, you have this final minute. This is yours. This is where you prove it to yourself. You are stronger than your mind. You are exactly what you say you are. You are strong, you are able, and you showed up today. And that's all you can give yourself. Do not beat yourself up. Three, two, one. Finish off 30 more seconds. That final five minutes. And we are done after this, okay? You give yourself those 30 more seconds of strength. Push through. Big deep. You got it. 15 more seconds. That's it. That's all you gotta do. 10 more seconds. You got this. I know it burns. I know it's hard. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. Thank you so much for watching that and working out with me. We burned 400 calories tonight. So I hope you got out of this workout everything that you needed. Thank you for showing up and uh, look forward to working out with you guys again.